All right, episode three of the Cruise and Hoff show. show. Episode three already? Oh yes, I'm Hoff. I'm Cruz. We are here for you. All right, it's gonna be a good show today. We got a lot to talk about, a lot to catch up on. It's been a couple weeks since we've been able to go live, but we are back. Don't worry. It has been a while now that I come to think of it. Better than ever. Yeah. Yeah. The last few weeks, think of the best shows, funniest things you've ever heard of, and that's exactly what it was. So, yeah. Yeah. That's literally. Much. All it was. But this will be even better, so you're welcome. All right? So, um, what have you been up to? Uh, the week? It was good. I had an awesome weekend. I went to the uh, Mumford & Sons show up in St. Augustine. Nice. Life-changing. It was absolutely awesome. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Uh, one of the best parts about the whole entire show, I mean, it was a two-day festival, but and they had a whole bunch of bands, a bunch of those emo bands and stuff. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care too much about them. <laughs> Fun. You know that band Fun? We are young. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, them. Well, they were supposed to be there, but they ended up canceling. I guess they had, like, sore throats or their vaginas hurt or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, they couldn't make it, so they had to fill in the spot. And who it turns out to be, let's take a guess. Uh, Great guess. No, it was actually John Fogarty. Never. Okay, you didn't give me time to guess, but yeah, yeah never yeah. would have come up with that one. John Fogarty, the lead singer of Cleveland's Clearwater Revival, in case you don't know. All right, the man is a legend. Yeah. A legend. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It was sick. All right, to hear all the classic songs and stuff and just to see him, it was really cool. His son played guitar for him. They flew out from L.A. on Friday night just to be there for Saturday. So all day Saturday, they're practicing with the house bands and stuff, so they can have that show ready to go on Saturday night. And they sounded like they've been playing forever. That's how good the back nice. band for that whole show was. But once they started getting into uh, like his their classic songs and stuff, Mumford and Sons comes on stage. Oh, so they played with them? Yeah, they actually played backup to John Fogarty. Nice. That was insane. I you bet know. that was cool. How many people were on stage? Like, what, 20? Uh, well, there's actually only four true members to Mumford & Sons, and the rest are, like, filler for, you know, the different music stuff that they have. But uh, at that time, I mean, there was at least, like, 11 people on stage yeah, just absolutely. jamming out. And it was awesome. There were 30,000 people that were at the fucking concert. So, like, to hear... Could you even you... see the stage? Oh, yeah. Through all of the pots? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh. <laughs> from what I remember, yes, absolutely. And we'll put up some of those pictures on our uh, Cruise and Hop Show Facebook page, which make sure that you check out and like for us. The more, the merrier, you know. I like those big shows like that, though. I remember, oh, yeah. I remember seeing Rush one time in D.C., and they're incredible. Uh, but the one thing that I do specifically remember was just the, the flagrant use of drugs oh like, yeah. it was everywhere and For sure i see bags of shrooms go by me i'm like no thanks keep it going i yeah. see i see doobies going by no thanks i'm i'm good let it go by well the new thing now is molly so that was what was going on there was like the missus she brought me so and when we were like once we were in the actual crowd there's no like getting out and getting your spot back you oh know? oh god you're out and you're fucking out that's yeah. it there's a guy that <laughs> Some poor little hipster must have been hopped out of his damn mind. He was wearing, like, some homo vest. Probably weighed, like, 80 pounds, you know. He looked like he was just tripping balls. Like, nice. not to the point where you're having fun, but to the point where, like, you might Oh, yeah, he's having a bad trip. Yeah. 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 So that was entertaining. For he me. wasn't enjoying the show. He was like, wow, I, <laughs> I need to go somewhere else. This right. dragon will not leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. Where's my sword? And... Who built a drawbridge out here? Exactly. And, it, and actually, the show kind of did look like a uh, castle, so that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's probably freaking the fuck out. Yeah, so anyways, they play with John Fogarty. It was awesome. They're, you know, everybody's out of their minds right now for this huge surprise. They go off stage for like 30, 45 minutes or so to chill out. Then they come back and they play their set. Awesome. It was awesome. Every It seemed like every single person there knew all of their songs. And like going to a show... And seeing that and experiencing it, really cool. Yeah. That really does make the difference. Oh, yeah. yeah the it feels like you're the control of the show. You're exactly. not just watching someone yeah. and like, okay, you know, great. Impress me. Yeah, it was it was awesome. So special thanks to the missus for making that happen. So that was really cool. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. So what else has been uh, going on with you? Uh, You know, 
Same old, same old. One day at a time, that's all I can do. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm getting too fucking old. Too old? Yeah. What do you consider too old? When shit hurts and you you can't move like you want to do. Like I, I've noticed here recently that there's certain things that I knew at one point in time I could do. Oh hell yeah, that's nothing. I could get over there and do this and that. I can't do that shit anymore. And it, it kinda bugs me. How old are you now? Like forty two ish? Something? Uh twenty nine. Twenty nine. Asshole. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Not even 30 yet. But it, man. God damn, I feel like I'm it's not that far away, right? Not ready to retire. I kind of wish I could hit this uh, Powerball so I could retire. How about that? would that be? That would be good. If, if uh, you do hit the Powerball, I want $100 cash. $100? Yep, cash. But in all quarters. That's my request. What are you going to do with $100 in quarters? Laundry, nigga. I'm taking up the... You have a laundry machine. It doesn't take points. Oh, well, it'd still be cool. <laughs> uh, just pay for everything. Hell, you wouldn't have to pay tolls for the next 30 years. I, well, I don't pay for tolls now. I just keep getting those fucking letters from E-Pass and SunPass and E-Rail and whatever. You know, I learned a trick, and, and I only say this because it happened to me very recently. What's that? If you honk your horn won't get a ticket. What? You won't get anything in the mail. That is bullshit. It is not. I thought it was, uh, as a matter of fact, I was riding around with tea bags. We were going to the uh -huh. Orlando City game, and I I don't have cash on me. Hell, I don't, I don't even have change in my cup holder. Must be nice. Um, well, it's because I use uh, my card for everything. Right. I don't carry around cash. So, he lived out in... East Orlando by UCF. So right. we just jumped okay. on the 408. We're taking that all the way to uh, OBT to get on, you know, to see the game. I didn't have any toll money. Man, this four loco is delicious, by the way. Yes, it is fucking delicious. Mm -hmm. How about that uh, watermelon with a little bit of the the dragonberry Bacardi? Yes. Yeah, because four loco doesn't fuck you up enough. We decided to add more liquor to it. Uh, how about some rum? Be shitting my It's pants. delicious. Yes. I, I can't... Uh, Keep the cup down, as a matter of fact. I peed a little bit on myself already. But, as a matter of fact, like I said, I, I wanted to stop at a gas station, which you had to pay a toll to get off the exit ramp. Okay. So I, Just so I could go and get cash at the ATM. Gotcha. I emptied literally everything out of my cup holder and just chucked it at the little basket that catches yeah. your change. Which never catches anything. I'm no, sure. and I was still like 15, 16 cents short. Yeah. Um, he's like, oh no, don't worry about it. Just honk your horn and then drive on. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't get a, you won't get a bill if you just honk your horn. It's something about like, it lets them know that you'll get them back. I, I have what? A fucking, I, yes. I don't. No dude, way. This was fucking two months ago. That is I not accurate. I have not received the first thing, um, in the mail, wanting money. Uh, from the Orange County or whatever for not paying their toll. Yeah, but when you do uh, go to try to renew your license or try to get a new ID or, you know, do anything with the DMV, they're like, oh, well, well Mr. Cruz, it you owe us 75 cents. cents. Exactly. No, they always jack that shit up. The only one that I've ever had to pay a ticket on is going across Lake Jessup into Lake Mary. Oh, that $2 one? That's awesome. a fucking big toll. So yeah. they're not going to, there's no leeway on that one. Yeah. You can honk and do whatever you want. You're still getting that. Bill. Have you seen that they have like envelopes by them too? It's like, oh, couldn't pay us this time? Here, just grab an envelope. How is that okay? I would just grab an envelope every time. You're like, oh, gotcha. Next time. You know, how are they going to know? Basically, what you do is you turn that into the next toll plaza. But at Jessup, I don't know that there is another toll plaza. That's, that's, why, they, that's why they charge you the $2. Because that's the last one before you hit I-4. Probably if you make it past that bridge with all those gators on the bottom. You're talking about going south. Yeah, well, either way. Either way you go over the bridge. Yeah, you hit the gators, and then yeah. you're, you're lucky if you get through the gators to pay. Like, the you have to pay $2 to get your ass eaten by fucking alligators. Right. That is Lake Jessup the most populated alligator lake in Florida or the world or something like that? I, think uh, it's I know it's very heavily populated lake um, as far as... Water systems go. Obviously, the Everglades is the highest populated. But as far as lakes, I really don't know where you put the dividing line. I know there's a shitload of gators out there. Yeah, fuck that. I would not go swimming in there. I wouldn't go swimming. I've gone boating out of the Black Hammock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude, they're fucking all over the place. I'm actually scared of water. 
I think you know that, but everybody else does. I am fucking terrified of water. Like lakes, rivers, oceans, fuck that noise. No, thank you. Really? Have you ever watched Animal Planet? Shark Week, river monsters, the list goes on. That's real shit. That there was a guy at my high school that died from getting amoeba up his nose just from swimming in a lake. Went to his brain. Ate I've heard of stuff. kids getting that from swimming in pools that haven't been cleaned and, and taken care of for a couple months. That bacteria starts growing, you That's get amoebas, and next thing you know, you lose your dick. I mean, how does that happen? There's a silence over the audience. We'll cut that out. <laughs> what? You lose your dick? Yeah, you get the fucking amoebas, and it goes up there. You get a bacterial infection. <laughs> You've never heard of the amoebas that are attracted? I saw it on that movie with The Rock. No, when, when, you, run down. when you urinate, that's what they're attracted to, is the, the is warm this? water. Yeah. Oh, God. It's it's very similar to that movie, The Rundown. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. Get your weenie out here. You're gonna get another bug. It's gonna crawl. Yeah, and he was chasing uh, Sean William Scott yeah. down in uh, oh, South South movie. or South America. I think The Rock's a pretty good actor in general. Dude, I love The Rock. Dude, if I could be, he's one of the people I could be. If I could be anybody, it would be him. I think it would be badass. You want to be The Rock? Who doesn't want to be The Rock? I just. I would. I'd like to just hang out with the guy. I don't want to be him. How could you not want to be him? I mean, he's got shit just like the rest of us had. It's just he's a fucking cool dude. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'd want to be him. That'd be pretty. Cool. How How cool would it be just to hang out and and drink a beer with the Rock? That would be pretty. Cool. That would be fucking bad. Either one would be awesome. I'm just saying. Yeah. That. No, I'm sure he's got a lot of shit. I mean, hell, we. We don't even know what it's like in the, in the life of the rock. How how can you say you want to have his life? How do you? Want because to I be live his... my life, and I guarantee it's better. Than oh it man, he, he, there's so much pussy around him. He's got a he can't even beat it off of the stick. He's just got to drive all through it. He just needs over. it for more protein. That's all he does. Yeah, he needs dude, all he was that jacked shit. in Pain and Gain. I haven't seen that movie. Have no, you? no, is it good? It's it's pretty good. And and the fast you haven't seen the last yeah, fast. I, I have seen, seen that one. That was pretty good. Yeah. I like all those movies. Except for the third one. Third one, uh, I the think Tokyo it's the Drift. One. Yeah. But yeah. but they tied in that one, the Tokyo Drift, with the last movie that came out. Yeah, they all kind of link, you know, in, in different ways. I just think the guy that played in Tokyo Drift, I mean... The redneck guy? Yeah, his his biggest... All claim of, go fast. Yeah, his biggest claim to fame was the little kid in Sling Blade. That was the, That's him? That's him. I like the way you talk. That really? Was, that's that's the same guy. I did not know that. He's he's in the new movie, uh, Jackie. He he's one of the teammates. The Jackie Robinson story. Oh, I never saw that. I don't really care about that. Oh. <laughs> I just happen to know. Okay, there's a few films he's been in. Um, he was in another one. I think it's called Seven Days in Utopia. Oh, it was terrible. He he was a. That's a, what I call my girlfriend's period. <laughs> uh, no, Sorry. that is seven days of hell. For you, That's Navy. hell week. Hey, the Navy got it right. I don't mind a little period time. Should don't bother me at all. Yeah, you just gotta change your sheets a lot more often. Change the sheets, Nikki. We got towels dedicated. Get, get to plastic that. sheets. Plastic. I'm not trying to Dexter her ass. I'm it, just saying. it does look like a Dexter killer room after the fact. <laughs> it looks worse. It definitely looks oh, worse. Holy shit. And then, uh, uh, who dares who call? Who dares call? I'm getting a call right now, too. That's weird. Oh, well, not time for break just yet. No. Anyways, so what else is going on? Uh, I'm going to your phone. I've never heard your phone be this loud before. <laughs> of course it is. Let me get that for a second. <laughs> so you're just going to be stuck with me. Oh, I, I, I keep getting these fucking random numbers. This one's from Jamaica. Jamaica? It's oh, it literally says Jamaica too. Yeah, cool. Jamaica. Like, I get the fucking weirdest phone calls. Hey, Yvonne, you ever been to Jamaica? Jamaica is awesome. Big fan. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah. Fucking Jamaica. Eight seven eight, seven six. six. So, all right. so if you ever see an eight seven six area code, you know it is Jamaica calling you. Where the fuck? The... I didn't know they had phones in Jamaica. They don't. <laughs> They've got cups with string. <laughs> yeah, they do. Lots of machetes too. The place is terrifying, but it's really nice. It's just fuck. I gotta, I gotta figure that shit out. That, I, I get that literally every day, and I really have no idea. We should just pick up one time. You're like, hey man, how you be? I like a red stripe. Up, slap on the bass, man. 
Oh, no, but no bass. No? I, I, I got nothing there. Right, that's fine. <laughs> so, um, man, this one, look at it. It's good. Yeah, delicious. Too much booze, though. We need to calm that shit down. Oh, there's never enough. So what else is going on? There's a couple things came out this week. A couple new video games. I kind of want to talk about Four Locos some more. All right. I, I had a pretty good experience this weekend with Uva Berry. Uva Berry. <laughs> that was pretty fun. What is Uva Berry? I guess it's like grape. Grape? It, it, they have a grape flavor. Though. Right. Well, it's... I don't know whether it changed names to become more marketable. Uva Berry sounds more intriguing. What is an Uva Berry? I, I don't know. It, it tastes uh. the same to me. But I watch Food Network like it's going out of business or some shit, and I've never heard of an Uva Berry. Maybe it's one of those things that makes you lose weight. I don't know. Maybe we should go on the Four Loco diet. How about that? The Four Loco diet? I am unfamiliar, but I'm very intrigued. I don't know. Fuck, just drink Four Loco all the time. Don't eat nothing. Don't drink anything but Four Loco. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can eat my own intestines after throwing them up constantly from drinking all the Yeah, that's basically what the Uva Berry is like. It smells like pure vomit. Vomit. Yeah, you know, like, okay, well, not maybe vomit, but a smell that's associated with vomit. Like, you remember when you were in high school, mm -hmm. and, you know, you're all, always around kids, and, you know, someone pukes while in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, you're playing basketball, someone's got the bug in PE class, they puke right there on the fucking floor. Well, the janitors would come, and they would throw out this sawdust-type shit to soak it all up so they could just shovel it up and throw it away. Yeah. And it always had that real pungent, fucking grapey sawdust. You don't remember that shit at all? I know what you're talking about. That's what the Uva Berry reminded me of. Oh my god, people drink it? Well, yeah. you drink it. Well, actually, uh, me and T-Bags were riding around, and he went into the store and picked one up. And it had one of those little condoms on the top, the, the Flavor Saver Seals. Flavor Saver Seals? I, I guess. Am it's it's one extra step before you pop a top. Okay. Anyway, so he gets in there, and, you know, I was like, man, I hadn't seen that shit before. Ooh, a berry. Mm, that's delicious. Sounding. Yeah. He opened it up. Oh, my God. My entire truck smelled like a fucking gymnasium vomit just clean up. It was just, it was horrible. It sounds terrible. Yeah. But I bet if you were to add it with rum or vodka like we have done here, it, uh -huh. it probably tastes good. Uh, pretty good. You know, every time I smell a uh, English muffin, I get one of those childhood memories. Also, yeah. and I was um, I don't know. We had just moved to Florida, and I thought I would make the whole family lunch to be high speed, and I would make those English muffin pizzas. You know, like the tomato sauce, exactly. and a little, little Parmesan or something yeah, on there. Yeah, exactly. Except mine were a little different. They had uh, English muffin, ketchup, and American cheese. That's a fucking ghetto oh, pizza. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to fucking hurl. Seriously. Yeah, I. Oh, I, I did the whole entire like English muffin package, and there's like what, forty of them, like each half. I turned into a pizza. <laughs> oh, you made your so own gross. bagel bite. Yeah, I was so proud of myself. My parents were like, "What the fuck is this?" It was, I, so for like my punishment for doing that, I had to eat them all. Right. It took me like four days, and I would oh. Oh, it's just so gross. I mean, I would throw up on them so I wouldn't eat them. I would do anything humanly possible. Just so you wouldn't eat your fucking ghetto. Absolutely. They were I mean, so gross. So bagel bites are kind of, you know. Totally different. I like pizza, but bagel bites are not pizza. No, of course not. Pizza's pizza. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But what you just described is uh, an abomination towards pizza. Oh, it was horrible. It was so bad. Oh, just thinking <laughs> about it, seriously. I think that's why I don't like ketchup. I think that could be. I'm gonna awesome. turn this shit off right now. I am tired of this thing going off. So well, if you weren't so popular all the time, there you go, from Well, I don't try to be. It just happens when you're, you know, on an awesome show like we are. You know, <laughs> you get blown the fuck up. We're the number one um, podcast in this immediate area, and by immediate area, I mean this this my actual room. Actually. Yeah. yeah. The guy next door does one way better than ours. <laughs> yeah, but so, he's talking about just like, here. video games and shit like that. Yeah, making millions. But it's okay. I have a mansion here. It's cool. It's not a big deal. This yeah. is just one extra room. But anyway, guys, we're going to take a little break. We will be back here in a little bit. And since I had gone to the show this weekend, 
thought I would play for you guys a little Mumford Sons. This is Dust Bowl Dance. Enjoy. We'll see nice. you back in a minute. All right.